Believe me, people, I've seen worse on my roads than actual real life from truck drivers. Real bad. I actually thought he passed me a lot quicker than that. It's all worked out okay, I suppose. I didn't crash. He didn't crash. I was expecting a bit more get up and go for on his part. It's looking at the ETA, so ETA round seven. Oh, it's a question. Are we going to find a delivery back to one of our states or where one of our garages are from here? Imagine if we got one to our um, garage in Canada on the other side. Then I will be definitely going over time to know if that's the case. Mind the amount of time it's taken me to get here. We haven't got anything really that close. It's New York? What would be our closest garage? Would it be New York? Or our closest state with a garage in it? Probably New York, yeah. What does this look like, a nuclear testing ground? Except it's obviously more green and things are alive, but with the houses it's just red and no driveways, nothing. Welcome to the house graveyard, where old houses go to die. <laughs> house retirement <laughs> village. That's what this is. This <laughs> is empty. Yeah, well, you know, some fences, a driveway, and all that. And off the road like this. This is weird. This is really weird. I mean, if we were slowly getting into a town or a city, this would make a little bit more sense, except for the fact there's nothing to suggest a residential area here. This is
Yeah, that would be cool. Almost cracked it. We've almost earned ourselves a new truck at the end of this delivery. Still seven hours to go though. 73,000 and I'll bring star. Oh, we have, look at that, we have. Though admittedly, catch up to ETS took a little longer than I thought but with this game the way it goes you never know what happens in the last half hour we've seen some huge amount of uh, dollars come in the last half hour last the last 10 minutes of the stream okay let's get to the top of the hill so I can change gear and not lose momentum as much momentum. Nine hundred and forty six. So we've lost we've now lost possibly the one hundred fifty thousand. Someone's bound to come and die with a little bit of money, aren't they? All the all needs cut over 200. What will probably happen though is a whole bunch will come in and give us the 150 without me having to deliver this. And that way I can just drop it off the side of the road and go home. Oh, I know, it's my trailer. Dump the cargo off on the side of the road, keep my trailer with me. Oh, I'll make it on fuel. Relax. That'll be fine. There's plenty. And you watch when I go up a hill, there'll be so more in there. And if I don't go down the hill, I'll continue to show more than I have in there. Six hours and 13 minutes. Yeah, I think we're fine. And we left, it was just under half a tank. I think we did more travelling in miles during that day with, from a full tank to there, if it was a full tank. Might not have been a full tank. And that was sort of what I based on the fact that I decided not to get the gas when we slept. I was thinking, oh well, we only got 600 miles I think it was, and we've got nearly half a tank of gas, it should be ample. Then again, just realised, I forgot about that little thing that generally ends up causing issues, and that's me thinking. There's works on the road. Alright, while we're waiting, let's see if we can't figure this out. Yeah, I got 540 miles in the tank.
probably using half of that just sitting here waiting for these lights to turn blooming green Oh, that's right. Why do they always stop when they do this? tempted to keep oh, I am actually I'm going to because he was going so slow This feels like a long way away and we weren't venturing that far into Canada, were we? this delivery done most likely buy another truck go off and make a coffee shut some windows because it's getting a bit chilly maybe i'll just turn the heater on I just realized i've only got the one window open at the moment one small window Got an increase on the old speed limit. Almost double. Oh yeah. Let me know how it feels like. There we go. Yep, so we're definitely getting a new truck at the end of this. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's 110, but these corners aren't going to take you doing 110. Well, the corners will, but the truck won't. Looks like rain again. Air time. Is it? I haven't got one. There it is. It just turned up, Causey Moorhead. What I was going to say, yeah, I, I was wondering if the 110, because um, it's in kilometres up here, they've sort of stuffed it up and didn't do the conversion to uh, miles per hour. This car on the left of me here. Yeah, well, I'm not going to complain about it. That little bit of extra speed. It's 
snapped out of it. We've still got four hours to go. Four, three to twelve, twelve minutes. Yeah, about quarter to four. Have a coffee, that's fine. Yeah, I know. 180 kilometres an hour is a fair click of speed. 180 miles per hour, that's even more, that's 300 kilometres an hour. And that speed's designed for things that have wings. And race cars. Which they do, they have a rear wing. is a spoiler on the boot. I don't know if they call it a rear wing in the US, you guys, on a racing car, but that's what they, they call it here, rear wing. By like that, and the road runner that just went past. Yeah, that, that. <laughs> that thing has stopped. But is that because I'm out in the country? Because the, yesterday it generally happened when I was around or coming up into an industrial area or something with a building around. I don't know. I'll tell you what. I've got to look for the Jazzy Cat update, so I'll do that and see if the um, Duke car up with 1.4, but I doubt it because it's running fine anyway with that, mostly with this one. I might actually verify the files for both games as well, just to see. I'll turn Steam Cloud back on and see what happens next week. If it is the Steam Cloud and just turning it off and turning it back on actually works, that'll be good. Because it'd be good to have a copy, just in case. On the cloud and through the hard drive. Go straight. Whoa. Change my mind. <laughs> Gonna get fuel now. And I might actually go make my car. Oh, I don't know. Um, oh, yeah, stop the engine, eh?
Look at that beautiful picture on the back there. They can jack out for a walk. Oh, can't see, can't see, don't like that. Yeah, it looks all right. Bang. I was expecting it, definitely was expecting it. Looks like it's gonna rain again, isn't it? If it is a problem with my saves, cause I suppose I could try my other saves out and see if I get the same issue. I could also take my mods off. There's lots of things I suppose I could try. I'm just gonna hope, close my eyes and ignore the problem and hope it goes away. I'm just curious to see what happens when we get in a residential area if it starts doing that quite regularly again. Because the weird thing is, is no problem, then all of a sudden the problem arises. Toyota Corolla. Like 1980s Toyota Corolla. You know, it's really weird. I haven't seen the saving thing come up ever since I did that. But I mean, like I checked and this did save after. There's an auto save there for about a few minutes after I turned it off. feeling that would happen. Oh yeah mate. Mm. I'm just letting you know I'm thinking of you cozy. In my own special way. <laughs> oh, no, 
boat that's coming. It was a truck too, the right behind it. It looked clear for quite a bit and I thought, oh, there we go. Oh, hello. Well, it's been a marathon for sure. Well, we, you, you couldn't chop down those trees and just put a road straight through there. Six thousand nine hundred and seventy six dollars. Right, here we go. A bit of residential. Let's see what happens. I actually got a feeling we've been here though, see, look, we've driven down that road before, I think, because it's yellow there, unless it just said that that sort of bit, no, we haven't, because there's nothing around here that, Still 62 miles an hour, I'm impressed with that. No, oh, but okay. So, yeah, I don't know what's causing it. It's definitely subsided. Well, the amount it, it's been doing <coughs> since I took the steam thing off, steam cloud off. Oh, right on 6 p.m. Look at that. We really knocked it down. So it's two hours from sleeping. But I might do the usual. And um, you have arrived at your destination. sleep early anyway because it takes about an hour, doesn't it? So by the time we do all this and find a place to sleep, hopefully it's close to 7 o'clock. Then we can sleep. And then if I go off and make my coffee, that'll kill some time as well. I'm going to need to... Um, Love this back and forth, don't I? Straighten this up. Ooh, don't really have that much room. Oh. Brake break in there. How close am I to that kind of miles? A fair distance. And there we have it. 77,000. <clears throat> so let's get this bit out of the way straight away, shall we? And here all the ETS supporters sign in unison right now, including myself. There's a AT is firmly puts itself and it's the winner for this week. And we ain't even finished yet for the day. So maybe there is a chance at the end of the stream we will be buying a new garage. That's a heck of a hill to climb for poor old uh, ETS to claw back from, isn't it? 
Mind you, it's come back from worse, I think. I'm a lot further behind. Look at that. The first decent option I've seen. And hands down, the winner. Let's see what Daniel E can do on his first trip, how much dollars he can bring in. <laughs> That's a good one, Mike. I actually like that one. Right, I just want to double check here. Uh, load game. Uh, auto save. So 3.02 was the last one. 3.45 p.m. Which was a minute ago. So it's definitely auto saving. So, yeah. I, I, it must be the Steam. For some reason. Steam. Cloud. Anyway, let's find a place to sleep for the night. Uh, we've got a Walmart. Whether or not there's going to be a delivery we can do with it. But um, yeah, I think we'll, we'll go sleep down here. Or just, yeah. Which means it's a long drive of me um, going past my stream time. Yeah, because they just look better, that's why, and that's the way it is, Mike. So, yeah. But maybe one day, maybe eight years, we'll have better looking trucks and, and catch up. No. <laughs> There's nothing like the Kenworth, the old trucks. That's for sure. To be honest, I think the modern day European trucks look a lot better than the modern day American trucks by a long shot. But nothing looks better than the good old Kenworths and Peterbots. Oh, seriously, I made it. Come on, I was across the line. Seafood and eat it. Right. That's what I'm going to do while well, I'm making my coffee. I'm going to have a bit of chocolate. Turn right. Jeez, that's a decent sized yard, isn't it? Oi, 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 you. Come on. Read the road, buddy. You can see I've got a massive trailer on the back and I need all the room I can muster. Quite sweet, but not all of them are narrow. I mean, we have them here, mate, and we got small roads. We don't have big roads like you. It's because we don't have big cars like you guys have in America. Most of our cars are, but the majority of them are Japanese imports, and because the Japanese ones are designed because they're so compact, because, you know, so many people in one area. I mean, even in Tokyo, you've got to get a actually uh, a, a license or something. Uh, we're going to crash because of that moron. Nothing I can do about that. Oh, okay. Was there something I could do about that? What have I... Oh, okay, yeah, there was something I could have done about that. <laughs> Didn't see it at all. I was too busy scolding at that...